In April 2025, a seismic shift reverberated through the global semiconductor industry. The Chinese Academy of Sciences, Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics announced a landmark achievement. The successful development of a solid-state laser-driven extreme ultraviolet lithography source. This breakthrough represents a fundamental challenge to the decade-long monopoly held by Dutch giant ASML in the most critical technology enabling advanced semiconductor manufacturing. By replacing inefficient CO2 lasers with innovative solid-state laser technology, China has not only overcome persistent hurdles in energy conversion and stability, but has also emerged as the world's first nation to achieve full autonomy in EUV source technology. This leap forward provides the essential foundation for mass-producing chips at 7 nanometers and below, marking a pivotal stride in China's quest for semiconductor self-sufficiency. Siam's breakthrough centers on a radical departure from the industry-standard CO2 laser-produced plasma approach used by ASML. The traditional method suffers from significant drawbacks. Low energy conversion efficiency. Only a tiny fraction of the massive input laser energy is converted into usable 13.5 nanometers EUV light. Maintaining consistent EUV power output over extended periods is complex and costly. The CO2 laser systems are enormous, energy-intensive, and require intricate synchronization. Siam's solid-state laser solution directly addresses these limitations. Radically improved energy conversion efficiency by optimizing the laser matter interaction with precisely tailored solid-state laser pulses, the conversion efficiency from laser energy to usable in-band EUV radiation is significantly enhanced. This reduces the required input power and operational costs. Solid-state lasers inherently offer superior beam quality, pulse-to-pulse -pulse stability, and reliability compared to complex gas-based CO2 systems. This translates directly to higher yield and throughput in the fab. Solid-state laser systems are potentially more compact, energy-efficient, and scalable than their CO2 counterparts, offering a pathway to more cost-effective EUV tools in the future. The significance of this approach was underscored by the publication of their findings in the prestigious Chinese Journal of Lasers, attracting intense international academic scrutiny and validating the technical merit of the breakthrough. This achievement signifies far more than just an alternative EUV source. It represents a fundamentally different technological pathway to generating the critical 13.5 nanometers light. China now possesses an autonomous, controllable, and high-performance EUV source technology, freeing it from the strategic vulnerability of dependence on a single foreign supplier. Pushing the boundaries towards 3 nanometers with its 13.5 nanometer source, simultaneously reinforcing China's EUV capabilities, Harbin Institute of Technology achieved a complementary milestone with the successful development of its own 13.5 nanometers EUV lithography source. Crucially, HIT's source has been theoretically integrated with SIAM's all-solid-state deep ultraviolet light source system. This combined technological ecosystem demonstrates, in principle, the capability to support lithography processes down to the 3 nanometers node. While significant engineering challenges remain in translating this to a production-worthy scanner, the core light generation technology for the most advanced future nodes is now demonstrably within China's grasp. The HIT achievement, coupled with SIAM's solid-state EUV source and DUV systems, signifies that China has now established core competencies across the entire EUV light source technology chain. This end-to-end -end capability is essential for building a fully independent EUV lithography tool. ASML remains the undisputed global leader in lithography. In 2024, it commanded 61.2% of the global lithography market share, with its EUV monopoly being particularly absolute and strategically critical. Its technological prowess is undeniable. In 2025, ASML introduced its latest high NA EUV workhorse, the twin scanned NXC 3800E, capable of supporting 3 nanometers and 2 nanometers process nodes with impressive throughput of 195 to 220 wafers per hour. Its price tag of approximately $180 million per unit underscores its complexity and value. Demonstrating confidence in sustained demand, ASML aggressively ramped production 
targeting an annual capacity of 500 to 600 DUV systems by the end of 2025 to support global chip capacity growth. However, geopolitical forces have reshaped its market access. Stringent export controls, primarily driven by U.S. policy, drastically reduced ASML's revenue from mainland China, plummeting from 41% to just 27% of its total sales. This vacuum, created by political restrictions rather than market forces, has become the primary catalyst for China's accelerated domestic substitution efforts. China's EUV source breakthrough is not occurring in isolation. It is the spearhead of a rapidly maturing and increasingly capable domestic lithography equipment and component supply chain, fueled by unprecedented government support. Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment has made significant strides, achieving mass production and customer validation of its 28 nanometers DUV lithography system. This represents a critical step forward in mastering the complex system integration required for advanced lithography, providing a foundation upon which future EUV systems can be built. Critical component suppliers break through. A network of specialized suppliers is achieving international competitiveness. Gaining prominence in high-precision MEMS components essential for lithography stages and control systems, now supplying tier, one foundries like SMIC and even Samsung. Jianfeng Electronics, emerging as a leader in advanced thermal management solutions, supplying critical cooling components vital for maintaining thermal stability in high-power UV sources and scanners. ML Optics, achieving optical technology breakthroughs, producing sophisticated lenses, mirrors, and sensors that meet or approach international standards for precision lithography, securing positions in major supply chains. The Chinese government is deploying massive financial resources to overcome the semiconductor bottleneck. A landmark $140 billion investment plan specifically targets the semiconductor industry, with a significant portion allocated to subsidizing domestic equipment procurement, reducing the financial risk for foundries like SMIC, Huahong, to adopt domestic tools, accelerating development across the entire value chain. EUV slash DUV sources, optics, precision stages, metrology, control software, and resist materials. Building foundry capacity, supporting the construction of new fabs designed to utilize domestic equipment. Driving self-sufficiency, explicitly aiming to dramatically increase the domestic chip self-sufficiency rate. The impact of this focused national effort is already evident in corporate results. Key players in the domestic semiconductor equipment and materials sector reported explosive growth in Q1 2025. This synergy between breakthrough core technology, EUV source, maturing system integration, SME, a capable component base, semi, Jiangfeng, ML Optics, and massive state investment is creating a powerful, self-reinforcing domestic lithography ecosystem. The technological trajectories of ASML in China are now clearly diverging, driven by both innovation and geopolitical necessity. ASML's path, focused on refining and extending its established low NA and introducing high NA EUV technology. Its roadmap points to the TwinScan NXE. 4000F in 2026, pushing towards sub 3NM manufacturing with incremental improvements in throughput and resolution. Its strategy leverages its immense installed base, deep customer relationships, and continuous R&D within its proven technological framework. China's path, centered on solid-state laser EUV as its foundational and differentiating technology. This path prioritizes autonomy, efficiency, and stability from the ground up. Beyond the source, China is actively pursuing parallel innovations to reduce dependency across the board. Exploring technologies like multi-beam mask writers, e.g., conceptually similar to New Flare's MBM-1000 to enable the creation of complex EUV masks domestically. Building a complete, self-controlled lithography industrial chain, encompassing source, optics, stages, metrology, control systems, masks, and resists. Interconnected through equipment materials process co-innovation. The $140 billion semiconductor fund is the rocket fuel propelling China's lithography ambitions. Its strategic deployment is multifaceted. De-risking adoption, 
large subsidies offset the perceived risk and potential initial yield slash capability gaps of domestic equipment compared to established foreign tools, encouraging foundries to integrate them into production lines. Catalyzing R&D, providing the sustained, massive capital required for the multi-year, multi-billion dollar development cycles inherent in cutting-edge lithography and semiconductor manufacturing technology. Scaling manufacturing, supporting the build-out of fabrication capacity specifically geared towards utilizing domestic process technologies and equipment. Long-term strategic positioning, ensuring China has the indigenous capability to produce the most advanced logic and memory chips, regardless of external political pressures or supply chain disruptions. The stellar financial performance of domestic equipment and materials companies is a direct early indicator of this policy's effectiveness in stimulating rapid industry growth and capability maturation. China's successful development of a high-performance, solid-state laser-driven EUV lithography source is a transformative achievement. By breaking ASML's monopoly at the most fundamental level, the generation of 13.5 nanometers light and demonstrating significantly improved energy conversion efficiency and source stability, China has crossed a critical threshold. The integration of HIT's 13.5 nanometer source with SIAM's technology, theoretically enabling 3 nanometers processes, further underscores the rapid advancement. This core breakthrough is amplified by the tangible progress across the entire domestic lithography ecosystem, from SME's 28 nanometers DUV systems to the globally competitive components from Semi, Jiangfeng, and ML Optics. The unprecedented $140 billion government investment acts as a powerful accelerant, driving rapid substitution, fueling R&D, and propelling companies to remarkable financial growth exceeding 120% net profit increases. While ASML retains a formidable technological and market lead, particularly in high-volume manufacturing provenance and system integration for the very latest nodes, the landscape has irrevocably changed. China has established an autonomous, parallel EUV technology pathway centered on solid-state lasers. It is building a comprehensive, government-backed domestic lithography industry capable of supporting its vast semiconductor manufacturing ambitions. The era of absolute dependence is over. The new era is defined by intense technological competition along diverging paths, profound geopolitical influence on supply chains, and a relentless pursuit of semiconductor sovereignty. China's solid-state EUV breakthrough is not just a technical milestone. It is the foundation upon which the next chapter of global semiconductor competition will be written. The race to define the future of computing power has entered a significantly more complex and multipolar phase.